1970 Chevette. This is a Chevette HS. That's 0 to 60 in 8.4 seconds. And why does a little car like this have that performance? Well, <laughs> it's got a 2.3 litre engine from the Vauxhall Victor. And that gives 135 brake horsepower. But why? Well, one word, rallying. Now, GM didn't make this car for any particular market. They just had to homologate the rally car. But while the rally car had a Lotus head, a Delato carbs, and 240 brake horsepower, the road going version is a bit more lazily set up. Twin Strombergs, an 8.2 to one compression ratio. You wonder what it wouldn't run on. Squash. There are some exterior details as well though. We've got the front air dam, the rear spoiler, and a striking paint job. It's the only way you could have it, silver with red stripes. A 205 section tires on 13 mil wheels. It is a proper pocket rocket. But what about the inside? Well, the ergonomics are pretty poor. I'm not sure where anything is to hand. And the steering wheel is pointed somewhere out of the driver's side window. But the red carpeting and the tartan seats, uh, it's just a, a cool place to be. I quite like this as well, this little detail in the front. And actually, all of that hails into insignificance when you just gun it. I enjoy the engine when it comes alive at the top end. Naturally, it's double overhead cams. It's good handling too. Hey. With the rear suspension from the Opel Cadet GTE, it's properly planted. And in fact, actually, the rest of the package is really strong too. We've got dog leg gearbox, well placed pedals, decent steering. <laughs> yeah, and performance that would give the, an RS2000 something to worry about. In fact, more than something to worry about. So why don't we think about the Vauxhall Chevette HS when we think about cars like Golf GTI and the Lotus Sunbeam? Well, they didn't really make too many of them. And it was kind of short-lived. See, Vauxhall Opal, they started, went, started going rallying with the Manta GTE, well, the 400, and that kind of got all the glory. Now, they're more expensive on the market today, and it's telling that a Manta GTE in good nick is basically the same price as a Chevette HS, which is a really rare car. These, are, they did not make many at all low five figures, you know, 10, 20 grand. Consider that a Chevette, a standard one, it's like two to five. It's not just the purchase price either, because as we've discovered on this shoot, the HS enjoys a good drink. I'm not sure if we're actually beating 20 to the gallon. Anyway, that seems to be okay, because actually this car is so full of charm. It's just a lovely thing. It, it, it's got a real special character. I'd like to find out what the Forenza HP is like because that's got a single overhead cam version of this engine. Similar performance, but I imagine a slightly different character. The Chevette, well, it is just a little mischievous muscle car.